Hello, it's Adam and Sam, and after the roaring success of our first news video today, we thought we'd come back and give you a little bit more. Give you a little bit more. But first, Sam, I think it's probably wise that we do a bit of bit of warm up, some exercises. Right. Okay. Uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled. It's going to be good. Here's news. the headlines. <laughs> A released WWE tag team have teased a reunion. We've got huge reported plans for SummerSlam 2021. And a WWE talent has taken a shot at Leo Rush following his retirement announcement. So we are kicking things off with some, well, a, a, a report that's already been debunked, but in quite an interesting way. Stick with us here. Last night, Fightful put out a report um, with details on the Authors of Pain, the AOP, who were, of course, released by WWE a little while ago. Uh, so they said, Fightful said that there were inquiries by wrestlers themselves about bringing them into particular companies last year, but that no movement was on the horizon. We were told that they were brought up to AEW management last year, who weren't sure if they were a good fit at the time, but left the door open. They were also brought up to New Japan Pro Wrestling Management, who weren't bringing over new talent at the time, and the budget for such a move was said to have not been near what was required. We're told that as of now, both members were working regular jobs. They updated this report, um, saying, in the hour since we ran this story, another promoter reached out to Fightful and indicated that when people reached out to AOP, that they were informed that both men had retired. Uh, Razor, 26, ACAM just turned 28, uh, we aren't sure if this was representatives for AOP or the men themselves, and we're working to find out more information. But wait! What's happened <laughs> since, Sam? We got a lovely tweet from Acom uh, that said, Ain't done yet, bitches. bitches. Uh, at Albanian Psycho, at Paul Ellering, WWE. Hashtag pro wrestling. And it's a shot of AOP and Ellering just on, on the set of war games. Bit, bit, mm. War games. War games. <laughs> Uh, you know what? The most interesting thing about this, to me, isn't the fact that it looks like they ain't done yet. Although that's excellent because I really, really enjoy yeah. their work um, in NXT. It's the fact that they're teasing this reunion with Paul Ellering, a man that was basically let go. The WWE stopped using him when the AOP were called up to the main roster. They were excellent. As a trio, with Paul Ellering as the mouthpiece, they were absolutely on form. So if they go and do the indies, if they end up doing AEW or New Japan, if they can make that work, bring in Paul Ellering. There is a man who is not only one of the best talkers in the game, but also has so much to offer behind the scenes too. Very valuable acquisition, I would say. Oh, for sure. I mean, just the just the thought of having Ellering back in general with them as a pairing. I mean, it works on so many levels in terms of kayfabe as well. That it's just ah, oh, it made no sense when they took him away, and, no, and it was it was one of my biggest injustices of that year when that happened. I was like, I can't believe Ellering's yeah, just like, off the table. They, they said that they. I, I think the the belief was that he couldn't deal with the touring schedule. They were brought up to Raw, yeah. and they didn't want to have Ellering moving all over the place. Uh, where he's a little bit older, but he himself came out and said that I'd have been well up for that. So I, I think that was a uh, that was a real shame. Uh, so it'll be exciting to see what they do next because they are a really brilliant team. There's nobody quite like the AOP. No, Big, that's what makes them so good. Yeah, they they would be a really good fit in New Japan. Actually, oh, I can they'd see them just be a really well good fit there. anywhere as long yeah. as they're back in a ring. And with Paul Ellerin. Oh. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, next up, moving on to uh, SummerSlam. Fast approaching. A tweet, interesting one from WrestleVotes last night, uh, who tweeted, After speaking to a few sources on the topic, I've learned that WWE is 100% attempting to make SummerSlam this year's WrestleMania. Big plans. Uh, all resources will be tapped into is how it was explained to WrestleVotes, and they said that they believe that they want Reigns versus Cena to headline, but they're not sure if they've decided. I feel like that's the sort of thing that would have been decided a long time ago. That would have been way yeah. in advance. I mean, that with, with Cena's schedule and everything now, I've got a feeling that they kind of approach him at the start of each year and go, right, do you have any availability? Do you want to even do anything? Is it something for down the road? But either way, I mean, it, it's always been the biggest party of the summer, so we may as well actually make it the biggest party of the summer and capitalize on the fact that, you know, more people are getting vaccinated. We can hopefully have a big crowd there. We can make oh, yeah. it just a, a massive, massive one-night event. And I, I just miss those days. I want it back. I want and a good big pay-per-view. That, that's huge as well. Like, um, I, I can't think of many 
bigger money matches than Reigns versus yeah. Cena. Obviously, Reigns versus Rock, and hopefully we'll get that down the yeah. line. But Reigns versus Cena will make a bloody fortune for the company. Um, not to mention that Reigns going over Cena with this new heel character would do an awful lot for Reigns too. Not that he really even needs it at the moment because he's on fire. Uh, but I'd love to see it. Moving on once again, are we getting Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley? Meltzer giving us a bit of a, a rumor killer, unfortunately. As of a week ago, Lesnar and Lashley was not on the SummerSlam card. Now it can always change. They can always call him. They can always offer him money. He'll do it. Again, it's up to Vince, but they had not made the call a week ago. And I know there's forces there that don't want Lesnar there until it's a feud with Reigns. I mean, that's a ready-made feud. Like, obviously, Reigns has got Heyman now. It just, it writes itself, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, and Go on. I, I, I just think that the longer, everything we hear about Brock, whether it's true or not, you know, the, the idea that he likes to come back and wrestle when that itch is there. It's not something he wants to be doing constantly. I think the longer you leave it and the longer you can let him kind of have that break, the better it is. But obviously with everything popping off with all the other promotions, I'm sure they want to try and make sure he's tied down. Not that I can really see Brock Lesnar going elsewhere, but... You know, it, you know, if the money's there, that that's all it comes yeah. down to, really. You say about the itch for wrestling, but for me, it's it, like... Oh, I, I mean, Brock money is the biggest driving factor. But I mean, when we don't see Lesnar for a long time and he comes back, it gives us a chance to rid ourselves of our our, our feelings toward him for a little bit before he, he leaves with him. the title again. But yeah, he's, he's great, but... I, yeah, he is. There's no one like Reznor. That Reznor? <laughs> there is Razor. no one There's like, no like Razor. Uh, so yeah, I, I mean, I, I, a while ago, had, had Reigns been babyface at this point, that's a match that I wouldn't at all want to see. No. We've seen it before. I, I felt like it was done. But with the new character, it works for me. At the same time, I'll be disappointed if we don't get Lashley versus Lesnar because yeah. um, Bobby Lashley, also on fire right now. And both guys, MMA background, just big beefy lads it's, kicking the it's bejesus been a dream match on the it. plate hasn't it since, since it wasn't for me like, it wasn't for me when he when when Bobby Lashley for his first few years in WWE the, yeah. just the way he was booked I didn't think he was on Lesnar's oh, level I, but I, meant, now, I meant for sure different. like since the comeback mainly because oh, yeah. they both went away and did MMA and everything but yeah I think you're right back then it wasn't quite as much of a oh I, I need to see that it was more kind of oh well, if it happens it happens well up for it now. Uh, moving on once again, Greg Hamilton making uh, a pretty controversial tweet after Leo Rush announced that he was retiring from pro wrestling. Um, who knows how long that retirement will last? He is a young Terry Funk, uh, by all accounts. Anyway, uh, Greg Hamilton tweeted, Wow, unreal. If we didn't have our own lives and families to take care of, I might pretend I give a beep. Oh. Uh, on behalf of the wrestling family community who work for a living, Onto the gym, roly-eyed face. But it must be stated that Greg Hamilton has uh, has now released an apology for the outburst. Um, and he tweeted yesterday, I can admit when I'm wrong, and I was wrong. We don't have to see eye to eye backstage, but Lionel Green, aka Leo Rush, is an incredible father as well as a talent. I have all this respect in the world for that. No one made me type this, just owning my, my own mistakes. He will be missed. Um, and he, he goes on a little bit more. You can check out the tweet if you want to, because he's posted some stuff and it's quite long from Instagram. Basically just like wishing him the best for him, his family, and you know what? Like, fair play to Greg Hamilton. I don't think he should have tweeted it to, to begin with, but owning up to his mistakes, he's apologized yep. and clearly that it looks like they probably made amends like behind the scenes as well. They probably had a, a few texts or something. Who knows? Um, but good on him for owning up to his mistakes. Um, he did quickly delete that original tweet. It must be stated as well. Um, moving on, WWE have made a change to their COVID policy. Um, previously, fans at the Capital Wrestling Center were expected to have a negative COVID test before entering the building for NXT shows. But as of NXT TakeOver in your house, this has been scrapped. Um, NXT has been the only show with fans in attendance since the move to the Thunderdome last audience, uh, last August rather. Uh, she sells she shells by the she shore. Uh, previously, they had to fill in a questionnaire, take a, um, a rapid COVID test on the night of the event, but they're no longer being asked to do that, which seems like a little bit of a mistake. Perhaps they're not expensive these tests. It, it's, yeah, it, it's quite. Uh, it, it's the next unnerving step, isn't it? Kind of moving forward without any 
clarification of you know just, status like, on the vaccine but if these things are available then you should probably do them it's not that big a deal but i guess with increased capacity and all that sort of stuff yeah. that maybe the I, I don't know i don't know the answer uh we are finishing off with a story about the usos and this is from pw insider uh who state that the usos have a very unique distinction right now as internally jimmy is listed as babyface while Jay remains entrenched on the heel side of the roster. This relates to the backstage, like the call sheet sort of thing. Um, and yeah, apparently on all of WWE's documentation that they give to their writers, um, yeah, Jimmy, good guy. Jay, bad guy. Uh, they finish off saying they may be the first team in WWE history to have that breakdown, but that's that's not the case. It's like the bar originally, yeah. Sheamus and Cesaro were on different sides of the fence. Team Hell No. Yeah. Miz and Mizdow. I can think of a fair few, so I don't know what... what <laughs> anyway, there you go. Uh, one's a good guy, one's a baddie, according to WWE. But we will see where things progress. This has been a lot more successful, Sam. I think those vocal warm-up exercises really, really helped. Tits One more and time. teeth, tits and teeth, tits and teeth, tits and teeth, <laughs> tits and teeth, tits and teeth. <laughs> see ya. See ya.